Hello and welcome to a Christmas edition of Would You Rather. I'm David in Ark. How you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. That's right. Today I'm going to go through 12 Would You Rather questions um, that are all Christmas related. So let's see what happens. Um, by the way, I got this from Elsa Support, E-S-L-A Support. I'll have a link. Uh, you'll see it down below. And then I'll also have a link in the description. So you can check that out. So let's get rolling. Would you rather not celebrate not celebrate Christmas this year? I'm assuming that's supposed to be year. Not celebrate Christmas this year or not celebrate your birthday. So this is choosing between two holidays i'm going to use that in quotes um of course there are some people uh, who don't celebrate either one of those ever um i, I personally celebrate uh, both of those i think if i had to pick between the two um i would choose to not celebrate my birthday uh i'm just because i'm a uh, christian and i believe the Lord Jesus Christ is my savior. And yes, I know that we celebrate Christmas, not technically on his birthday, but it's the day we've chosen or taken, depending on your perspective, um, to celebrate uh, Christ's birth. And that to me is way more important than my own birth. So I would choose to not celebrate my birthday versus not celebrating Christmas. So there you go. All right. Okay, we have to zoom in and out for each one. This is going to be awesome. All right, would you rather sing Jingle Bells really loudly or dance around the Christmas tree? Um, you've probably heard me sing in videos. It's not pretty. If you haven't, I don't know, just random videos, I start singing different things. I always have music running in my head. Um, would I rather sing Jingle Bells really loudly or dance around the Christmas tree? Uh, I would probably rather sing Jingle Bells really loudly because... It would annoy the crud out of some folks, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. So there you go. So I would rather sing Jingle Bells really loudly. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that one? <laughs> would you rather play in the snow or eat mince pies? Well, I've never had a mince pie. I don't even know what it is. I know it's called mince meat. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's some kind of meat. Maybe it's not even a meat. I have no earthly idea. So... I would rather play in the snow. I actually grew up in and around uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, out east before coming to Arkansas. And um, I don't know, we played in the snow all the time as kids. Um, whenever it does snow here in Arkansas, generally we go out and we play in the snow uh, with the kids. So I, I, I would rather play in the snow. Really, I'd rather play in the snow than just about anything anyway. So I'll take play in the snow. <laughs> all right. Would you rather make a snowman or have a snowball fight? Huh. That's a good question. Um, it, from my perspective, they're equally as fun. Um, and, and honestly, probably just about uh, equally as much work to get into. Um, making a snowman, if, if you do it... Um, traditionally you know where you start out with a little snowball and then just you roll it in the snow and twist it and turn it and you get it packed and then of course you have the big base and then a couple on top and um it really is a lot of work not to mention all the decorating and all that but a snowball fight you know you're talking about making however many snowballs and then if you get into the whole fort thing then you're building forts and i don't know they're both like i said they're both equally as fun um hmm Honestly, I'd probably rather have a snowball fight than build a snowman. I mean, making a snowman is fun and all, but there's nothing like, especially when I was growing up, um, we had, I don't know, all kinds of neighborhood kids. I don't even know how many of us there were, probably, dog, I don't know, 20 or more. And uh, man, we would all just start slinging snowballs and trying to build forts and Oh my gosh, I remember those days. That is so crazy, man. But yeah, I'd much rather do a snowball fight. So there you go with that one. Would you rather have Frosty the Snowman or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer as a friend? So I, I have to pick one, either Frosty or Rudolph. Um, uh, considering that Frosty, uh, spoiler alert, Frosty melts. 
in the movie. <laughs> I don't know what happens in the song. Well, in the song, I think he, he melts in the song as well, right? Um, I think I think in the cartoon, though, he comes back because, you know, it's a cartoon. So you, you can't just have him, you know, disappear forever in a puddle. <laughs> so um, Rudolph. Uh, huh. I mean, it'd be a little weird to have a reindeer as a friend. Okay, yes, it'd be weird to have a snowman as a friend, too. I get that. Um, but um, I think between the two... Honestly, I, well, <laughs> I would like to say it'd be fun to have Rudolph as a friend, but um, I'm in Arkansas, and, well, deer hunting is a big thing, and there's a pretty good chance old Rudolph would end up, uh, well... In a, in a not very good place. How about that? So, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to say Frosty. And I'll tell you part of the reason. Because taking... Well, I guess... I don't know. I guess I guess Rudolph kind of talked. I don't know. The snowman talks. Okay, right, so I'm just going to go with the snowman. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Would you rather have Christmas tinsel as hair or fingernails that light up? Um... I would actually like to have tinsel, which if you're not familiar with tinsel, tinsel is the silver stringy stuff that you would throw uh, on the Christmas trees. I, I don't, I don't even know if you can still buy tinsel uh, anymore. Uh, when I was a kid, um, my great grandmother, uh, we would always get to decorate her Christmas tree, but and in the last, she decorated the tree, then we got to put tinsel on the tree. We didn't care about that so much as that. When you uh, put the tinsel on, I, I have no idea what the stuff was made of, but whatever it was made of, it was very um, uh, statically electrical, electrically inducing, con conductive. Anyway, it could shock the tar out of you. And so we would all <laughs> scoot around in our socks around her uh, carpeted floors, and then you could reach your finger out, and the tinsel hanging on the tree would would come out to your finger and then of course if it touched your finger you'd get a zap which is really what all us kids were after anyhow but oh my gosh uh or you could have so I, I would love to have that as hair of course i'd love to have hair so you know anytime the hair is an option i'll take hair <laughs> so, but fingernails that light up would be cool but that's not really my thing it might be your thing it's not mine i would much rather have christmas tinsel as Hair. Once again, I, just the option of hair, I'm, I'm taking hair nearly every time. Okay, well, here we go. The next one, would you rather stay at home for Christmas and get loads of presents or go on a holiday but no presents? And for those of you, uh, this is from the UK, so going on holiday means going on vacation. Uh, for those of you who don't use that particular term, uh, if you don't use going on holiday, then it's the same thing as going on vacation. So, um, would you rather stay home for Christmas and get lots of presents or you could go on a vacation for Christmas and not get any presents? I, I don't know why you're not getting presents on vacation. I guess maybe the vacation was, I don't know, cost prohibitive or maybe you're on vacation. So Santa Claus, I don't know. I mean, he knows where everybody is, right? So I, I have no idea. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why you get no presents, but that's the way it's worded. So, um... From my perspective, because my family goes on a summer vacation every year, I already go on a vacation, so I would rather stay home and get loads of presents. Not for the sake of getting loads of presents, for the but for the sake that um, I would be at home and I already go on vacation. So for me, staying home makes way more sense than going on a vacation for Christmas, whether or not presents are involved. So I'm going to say stay home and get loads of presents because that's kind of the bonus in this particular scenario. So, you know, I can't argue with that one. <laughs> Would you rather live in a giant gingerbread house or travel on the Polar Express? Oh my gosh. Uh, both of these would be equally as fun. I, I can tell you the problem that I would have living in a giant gingerbread house. I would eat the house. I, I would. I, I like gingerbread. I don't, I don't, uh, I couldn't eat a whole house. 
I mean, in one sitting, but over time and all the candy and stuff that goes with it, yeah, that's not a problem. I would eat the house. Um, traveling on the Polar Express, I think that would be, I, th I think that would be very, very cool, which I know they actually have a real life train that's modeled after it, but um, I don't know. To be able to travel on the fictional Polar Express and all of the cool things it does and what it means and what it stands for, I think that'd be cool. So I would say for me, traveling on the Polar Express, that would be my, uh, my, my choice between the two of these. <laughs> would you rather have a nose like Rudolph, i.e. it glows red, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's what they mean. Uh, or point ears like an elf. I don't have pointy ears, um, but you know, I, I grew up in the Star Wars, Star Trek heyday. So to me, that's more Vulcan than elfish. Then again, I also played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> as a as a as a preteen, early teen. Well, actually, for many for m several years into my college uh, career. Um, I, uh, also played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, so a whole lot of elf thing going on there. Um, so pointy ears or a nose like Rudolph, I would probably see, and I don't know if like I have control over the nose or not. I would probably take the pointy ears because, um, in certain situations I could cover my ears if I needed to for whatever reason, where if my nose, especially if I didn't have control over it, it would just start glowing red. That would kind of wig people out, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to go with pointy ears like an elf. There you go. Would you rather get lots of small presents or one big present? Okay, this is actually uh, a conversation that my wife and I have had many times over the years. Um she is very much a um, many presents kind of person. She would much rather have a bunch of little gifts than one big thing. Um, where uh, I, if, if it's something that I'm wanting, um, if it's the only thing I get, I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, I'm okay with if, if there's one big present that I'm getting, you know, I, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, I do enjoy opening multiple gifts it's a lot of fun but um again if 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 it's something i want then i have no problem opening one big present so in this particular case which would i rather have between these two um honestly i would actually probably rather have lots of small presents than just one big one um I don't know, just because uh, I, th I think it's it's fun to um, open up multiple presents to see where people kind of what they were thinking when they were thinking of you and the stuff that they got. Um, and and I don't know the I don't know if it's an age thing. I don't know if it's a circumstantial thing, um, but but for me over time, um, it, it's definitely not about, um, I mean, part of it's about what I get, but it's not really that it's, it's more about, um, well, it's definitely more about what I'm giving someone else. I would much rather give someone else a bunch of small presents than one big one. Um, just because, uh, I, I like to try to get things that well, frank, frankly, a lot of times people open the presents that I get them, they go, I don't know, what what were you thinking? Um, just because I like to get weird, goofy little things, so uh, or give, I should say. Uh, I, I like to get them uh, weird, goofy little things. But anyhow, so for the, for the sake of this one, though, I would say I would rather have, I would rather get lots of small presents rather than one big one, although I'm perfectly fine with getting one big one. So I don't know, that, that's an interesting, that's an interesting question. All right, I think this is the last one. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, would you rather spend a day Christmas shopping or watching Christmas movies? And this, my wife and my daughter are huge into the whole Hallmark, Hallmark Christmas movie thing. I mean, they, they've got them recorded. They're gonna take you know multiple days and just 
binge watch them one after another. That's part of how they spend their Christmas break. Um, I, I watch some, you know, I don't know. It's, it's funny to me. They know exactly what the plot is because the plot's pretty much the same for every Hallmark movie. Um, but they enjoy them so, so much. I've seen some. I've sat through some. Some of them I really liked. Some of them, I don't know, it's kind of the same. Shopping, I do not like shopping at all. I mean, I'm the kind of person that when I go shopping, I go in, preferably with a list of things. I go in, I get what's on my list or I get what I need and I'm out. I, I, I'm not a browser. I'm not a, oh, let's piddle around. No, get in, get what you need, get out. So if I had to spend all day doing one or the other, um, I would probably... I was going to say I would probably want to watch the movies, but the, a whole day of that, I, I, I actually, I'd probably rather go shopping. <laughs> oh, that's kind of weird. I, I didn't think that would be my answer, but the truth is, I, I think that's what I'd do. I'd much rather spend a day shopping than uh, watching Christmas movies all day long. Now, I will say this, though. You know what? I take that back. I would watch Christmas movies because it's not just Hallmark Christmas movie. This is any Christmas movie. So you're talking, you know, uh, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. You're talking, you know, A, a Christmas Story. Uh, I don't know, Christmas Vacation. I am of the age and of the mindset that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. So I could watch Die Hard. So I'd be okay with that. I, I would be okay with actually sitting all day watching Christmas movies, having, I don't know, whatever, popcorn, snacks, drinks. So I would watch Christmas movies all, all, all day long. I would, because there's so many different ones. Plus, you know, then you have other Christmas movies that, um, that people, I don't know, like, um, what, what is that? Uh, was it Crumpus or something like that? You know, it's kind of like a horror movie, but it's Christmas. I'm, I'm good with that. I, I could do that. <laughs> Why not? Nope, we have another question. Again, I, I really don't know how many there are. I mean, I have 12, but I don't know what number I'm on. Would you rather receive money for Christmas or presents? Um, I have I have received both, and I've been equally pleased. There are some years where um, if I have something that is a little more expensive uh, that I'm wanting, then... I actually just ask for the money they would have spent on presents um, and just and just say, you know, I, I would rather take that money, pool it all together and buy this thing. For example, um, uh, buying some major component for my PC or buying a new PC for that matter. Um, it may be a matter of pooling funds in order to, to do that. And, and I have no qualms asking for that. Because ultimately their gift, their gift to me, I end up with what I wanted, right? Um, now, the other hand, the other side of that is there are many times where um, I just, I like to see what other people are going to get me. Uh, one of the things that we do in, in my family and my extended family is we try anyway <laughs> to provide a list of things and say, hey, these are some of the things I'd like, but... Um, I generally try to keep my list like uh, really, um, I don't know if generic is the right word, but non-specific. So like I'll, I'll, I'll say, you know, I want uh, long sleeve button down shirts uh, and maybe I even want plaid, you know, button down shirts, but I don't, I don't I'm not getting too specific or I want, uh, you know, maybe I need more, I, I need new pants or new jeans or I need, um, uh, or uh, for a while, I was uh, into collecting um, baseball-themed DVDs. So I'd be like, I don't care if just if it's baseball-related, you know, I want the DVD. Or um, uh, for a while, I was doing uh, oh, like horror movie DVDs. Um, and, and so if there's something that I'm interested in, like one of the things that I, that I enjoy collecting are Funko Pops. So I'll say, you know, hey, any Funko Pops that you see that you think I might like throw that on my list. So sometimes, um, you know, I, I have a list of, of things that I want for presents. And then of course, 
you know, there's always the presence that you weren't expecting at all that you didn't know, or someone, you know, they, they just pick it out, even though, you know, you didn't ask for it. You didn't, you didn't, uh, you may not have even known the thing existed. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they, they thought of you when they saw it and got it. And so that's always cool to get presents. So for the purposes of this, would you rather, um, if I had to pick between one of the other, and let's just say for the sake of argument, this is like every Christmas from now on, I would much rather get presents than money. Um, just because of, you know, everything I said and all the thought that goes into it. And, um, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I, I like the idea of exchanging gifts and, um, and even if that gift is a, is a gift card, right? Cause you know, a gift can be a steam card for me in my case, or, and it might be, you know, I don't know, it might be a food card for you in your case. You know, it's, it, I know a lot of people frown on gift cards and I don't understand that. I mean, it's, yes, it's like exchanging money, which is, which there's a comedian. I can't remember who it, who it was, but he said, um, you know, you take money, which is, of, which is, you know, usable everywhere and you exchange it for a gift card, which is only usable in, you know, these select places. But, and yes, that's true. But the idea, at least for me behind a gift card is that that person was thinking of you either spending it in that particular place or eating at that particular place or whatever it is specifically for that thing. Cause I, I'll tell you another thing. A lot of times what happens with folks is um, you know, life gets in the way, so you get a bunch of money for Christmas, and instead of uh, buying that thing you wanted, it goes to paying off, you know, Christmas debt or other debt or other, you know, other bills. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but that's not necessarily what the person who was giving was intending. So, I don't know, presents can be way more personal, presents, um, can, you know, require more thought. I don't know. I, I like the idea of, I, I would rather receive presents than just flat out money all the time. So there we go. That is number 12. I picked 12 because, you know, the 12 days of Christmas, you know, all that on the 12th day of Christmas, would you rather ask of me? Oh, I should have done that. I should have sang the whole thing. No, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> Anyhow. So let me know what would you rather any of these that we have done. Let me know down in the comment section below. And, um, I, I just wanted to do a fun little Christmas thing, uh, for Christmas. So, First and foremost, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Happy uh, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate. Um, I, I hope you have a very wonderful and blessed holiday season. If you don't celebrate any of those, then thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day anyhow. I mean, regardless of what you celebrate or don't celebrate, uh, I hope, uh, hope today's been or will be depending on when you watch it, uh, a good day for you. And uh, I, I thank you, as always, for uh, taking some time out to watch this goofy old man do weird stuff here <laughs> on the Internet, because why not? But anyhow, got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you so much to Hero of God, Gamer Gull, and Mr. Spooky7 for supporting me on Patreon. That means a whole lot to me. Um, and, and I thank you so, so much, uh, for doing so to me, that's like getting a, a, a gift every single month. And, uh, and, and I really appreciate it. And, and I sure hope that you guys feel like you're getting, um, something back out of it. <laughs> uh, if not, by all means, you can, you can decide to, uh, drop it and go, nah, you know what? I can't do this anymore. But, uh, but in the meantime, while, while you're still supporting the channel, thank you so, so much. And, uh, and, and if your support comes by way of watching the videos of liking, subscribing, sharing any of those kinds of things, thank you so much. It, it means a whole lot to me that, uh, you've taken time out of your day to watch David and Ark. So thanks. I appreciate it. And uh, once again, have a very, very Merry Christmas and uh, we'll see you later.